For more than two decades, Euralii woman Beverly Roberts paid insurance premiums to the Aboriginal Community Benefit Fund. Her partner, Camilla Roy Mann, Lionel Ayub, also signed up. Well, when they was going around all of our houses, you signing us up, they had the Centrelink forms for them to take a direct debit out of our Centrelink pay. I don't think it's ever been appropriate for uh, ACBF to be on Centrepay. Centrepay is a way to automatically deduct money from Centrelink payments for essential services like rent and power. The fact that ACBF was on the Centrepay system for so long meant that that business was able to grow and grow and grow and thrive. A 2013 independent review warned the government of the risks to Centrepay customers about funeral plans and insurance. There is the possibility that the providers may go into receivership or become bankrupt, with customers subsequently receiving no benefits for the monies expended over many years. At the time of the review, 9,500 customers were having funeral insurance premiums deducted directly from Centrelink. But it wasn't until 2017 that funeral insurance was finally excluded from Centrepay. ACBF had been on it for 16 years. I would have thought any company that's providing a service such as this should be able to access that um, and indeed are able to access it. The federal government has committed to an inquiry into the collapse of ACBF which has left thousands of customers without cover. Despite the liquidation, the Australian Securities and Investments Commission today indicated it will pursue its latest court case which relates to the company's sales conduct between 2015 and 2018. Amy Bainbridge, ABC News.